hello YouTube welcome back quick video very short and sweet we got some goodies from Bravo company BCM a new upper so we're gonna do a quick unboxing and see what it looks like for a build that's coming up so check it out and if you like it remember to give me a like subscribe and follow us on YouTube uh, make sure you sign up for notification thanks I do this unboxing real quick so this is a order placed from BCM. Um, I opened it yesterday to check the content, but it's still pretty much the way it came out. What we did is I have a build coming up and we ordered an upper receiver group, some uh, goodies to complete the rifle. I already have a, no, a lower from Aero Precision, Aero Precision. And uh, I'm gonna show you real quick what we have in the box from BCM and then what the parts that I have for standing for this rifle. So, well packaged. Yeah, okay, some magazine. I haven't taken a look at that. We ordered a stock, the BCM Gunfighter Grip Mod 3. I'm gonna do a combo color gray and black. So, key mod version the BCM Gunfighter VJ Vertical Grip 4 Grip. Uh, this is the sub mod, mod BCM mod stock, I believe. And in the box here, we got Picatinny mount, some mount for the the light or accessories and piece of resistance. The upper receiver group. I've also got some uh, key mode rail panel kit right here. Again, I'm going for a black gray FD combo. I'm not sure it's gonna look great, but we'll see. And some stickers. Goodies, stickers. I think that's it from the box. All right, so what I'm doing is doing a black and gray accents rifle with some Phil Dark Earth receiver. And what I ordered was uh, a BCM Gunfighter Grip Mod 3, the grip. I tried to order the same from the same manufacturer because sometimes the color tent changes from one vendor have an FD, has a little nuance, another one has a little color. So, Mod grip, oh, I'm sorry, the grip, wolf gray, wolf gray is the color, forehand key mod, four grip, rail panel kit, wolf gray as well, and uh, I'm a key mod guy, M lock, I have a couple of M locks, no big deal, most of the other M lock were out of stock, so I decided to go with the rifle building key mod. Um, it's come with a Picatinny mounting rail. Some stickers from BCM. Pretty cool. We like stickers. BCM Gunfighter. Actually, Bravo Company. And then another BCM decal. The stock. Same thing. We're going to do a key mode on that one. We have some instructions. Buffer spring tube. <coughs> and this is the wolf gray stock that we'll be using for this build. I wanted a, <coughs> like a B5 stock with a bigger wider cheek well but I went with this one because I couldn't get one in both ways so we'll see what we do on this one. And now we top it off. Put this aside, put these aside so I can use the real estate from the table here. Oh, magazine, so combat arms, SWAT, security, so we'll take a look at this and probably advertisement and pushing out more products. This is the main reason for that order. Upper receiver group, well packaged. It's got some lubrication, of course. So it's weird, but that's good. The oil smells a little good. Smells good. So this is the Bravo Company BCM MK Mark II BFH Enhanced Lightweight Upper Group. It's 14 and a half inch barrel with a stock uh, standard muzzle device at the front, making making it 
a 16 inch total. I wanted to build a mid-length cabin because I have an SBR and I have some of the longer rifles. So I'm looking for the better recoil management and then I'm trying to see. I'm not trying to build a true recce rifle, but something I can go close and long range and re engagement. So let me see if I can get this in more focus. Let me see. Gently here. Thank you. Oh, that's why right, there's that there. It doesn't have a ch charging handle and it doesn't have a bolt. Uh, let me see. So well, it's pretty light, regular muzzle device in the front, flash hider is a muzzle device, a flash hider, flash hider A2, standard mil, mil spec version. Uh, it's non-pin, so we can change it to put off probably something like a surefire comp, something that will be ready to receive our, our suppressor. I'm not sure if I'm going to suppress this one yet, but let's keep the focus there. there. Um, upper receiver BCM. BFH, um, so this is a BCM KMR A13. You can see, uh, focus here on the letters real quick. There you go. So, key mode Picatinny on top. Standard. That's one. And now, so this is the part we got from uh, BCM. So this is about seven and ten bucks. The key mode, it's the stock kit was about a hundred dollars, and the four grip about eighteen. Another eighteen for the the, the vertical grip, ten dollars for the BCM rail panel kit, and I'll show you real quick what will go with the rifle. Okay, we won't go into the full build right now, but this is what I, is gonna go in this build real quick. So I have a couple of aero precision lower. I have one in field dark earth. Okay. With a pew pew pew. Um, select fire auto, full, full auto version, limited edition. So I haven't decided, I wanna do this with black. And the gray accent, but I'm not sure which one I'm gonna end up doing. So we'll we'll find out. Let her focus a bit more. So anyway, we put some. It's gonna go on an arrow low. I may use this one. Similar setup. This is just a different M4E multi caliber arrow precision lower with retention pin and a rattle. Definitely, we're gonna put this Geisley trigger in the build. We have a Geisley complete ball carrier group, Geisley. Then a stream light or surefire light. I'll just put it in a block bag because it was in my past group. <coughs> the charging angle is gonna be the strike industry, which I modified for suppression. And then, so more to come. I won't go into detail on this part, but once we get the build going on, we'll probably make a video on the build. But that was the BCM unboxing so thanks for watching remember to subscribe and like if you like the content subscribe to the channel give us a like post a comment and let us know what you got from BCM lately if you have or what are your impressions and stay tuned once I finish the build I'll feature the rifle thank you